Welcome to the final video of the OCR Entry Level Certificate in Computer Science video tutorial course. In this final video, you will notice a slightly different format. This task on the screen now is what I asked my pupils to do. So I'm going to go through it just to explain everything that you need to know for the final part of exam one. So let's start with looking at what application software is and what it is used for. So as a definition, application software is the name for a program or programs which allow a user to perform a useful task. For example, write a document, make a game, create a spreadsheet, and more. Our first piece of application software is known as a word processor. A common word processor that you will know of is Microsoft Word. But a tip for the exam, please make sure that you actually use the term word processor if it asks you what type of program can be used to write a letter, for example. Don't say Microsoft Word. So, a word processor is used for writing text-based documents, such as reports, memos, invoices, books, or even manuals. The features of a word processor include a range of font faces, which is the type of font you can select, the sizes of the font, and the styles of the font. You can change things like line and paragraph spacing, you can add images, and you can change the page layout. You can use proofing tools such as spell check, grammar check, etc. Our next type of application software is called a spreadsheet. An example of a spreadsheet is Microsoft Excel. Spreadsheets are used for performing calculations and managing numerical data. Spreadsheets contain worksheets, which are individual screens made up of cells, and you can type formulas into these cells. They are also made up of workbooks, which is a full spreadsheet made up of multiple worksheets. Data validation and can be used to restrict data and check to see if everything is acceptable. And good examples include Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. Next, we have databases. Databases are used for storing and managing large quantities of data. They contain a key field, which is a unique identifier for a record of information. They contain foreign keys, which allow two or more tables to be joined together. And they store data in records. And a record is basically all the data pertaining to one individual. For example, name, address, telephone number, etc. Databases use queries to search for data. And a common example is things like Microsoft Access, Oracle Database, and MySQL. Next, we have graphics editing software. Graphics editing software can be used to create images from scratch or to edit and manipulate existing images. They can be used to change the format of an image. For example, if an image is in a PNG format, it can be changed to a BMP format, which is a bitmap, or a GIF, or a JPEG, or a TIFF. Some software handles bitmap graphics, which means that if you draw over a section of the screen, you will lose what's behind it. Other software handles vector graphics, which means that those graphics can be scaled and layered on top of each other without deleting the previous layer or without losing quality. Examples of these type of programs include Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Fireworks. Next, we have web browsing software. This software is used to allow access to content on the internet and the World Wide Web. It provides an address bar to type in a URL, which means Uniform Resource Locator, or in common terms, an address of a web page. It decodes the web page, which is written in the HTML language, which means hypertext markup language. And it can read CSS style sheets, which means cascading style sheets, to apply styles and formatting to the page so it looks interesting. It also stores browsing history and bookmarks, and good examples are Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, and Safari. Next, we have presentation software. This is used to create large displays of text, images, and video to show to an audience. Presentation software allows interactivity to be built in, in the form of hyperlinks, and drag and drop, and more. 
Presentation software is multimedia software in that it can use text, images, sound, video, and animation, as well as hyperlinks. Animations and transition effects are common in most presentations, and examples include Microsoft PowerPoint, Prezi, and Keynote. Finally, we have the Integrated Development Environment, or the IDE. This is used in the development of software. It usually has built-in programs and functions for different programming languages. It has the facility for designing graphical user interfaces, and it includes a compiler or an interpreter or both in order to run and test the programs. Examples include Microsoft Visual Studio, NetBeans, and Eclipse. I thank you for watching all the videos in this tutorial series. I hope you find them useful for revising for your exam, and best of luck.